Hello traders, I'm back with one more very very interesting video as this slide represent. This is all about how to uh, select the best potential stock by using price action combined with data driven approach. So guys, this is going to be like very interesting video. I again reiterate stock selection by price action combined with data driven approach which you are going to learn something new. So a few checkpoints, okay, so don't skip the video, okay, watch till the end because you are learning something new, right, after this video, uh, it might take one hour, it might take 45 minutes, I'm not sure how much time it will take, but definitely after watching this video, your thought process will change, you will be able to execute the same, whatever you have learned in this duration, you will be able to execute them and end of the day, you will be able to enjoy the trading, okay, so again, let me say how to the best potential stock selection by price action combined with the data driven approach. All right, guys. So now let me take you to the next slide. Okay. This is going to be like a theory plus practical. I'll start with basics and then I'll slowly move on to uh, the advanced uh, concepts. Okay. See, end of the day, if I ask you, what is the stock selection process? Okay. It is either by doing the price action or the so called uh, technical analysis or else it would be a random guess which majority of the gamblers will do and then there is something called data driven now what is data driven let me take you to the next slide okay now see data driven is something like see i can talk for hours but i'll make it very crisp okay data driven right anything should be backed up by data so what is data driven basically so the open interest comes into picture your option chain comes into your picture FIIs, right? End of the day, what FIIs have done, right? Are they selling? Are they buying? So that you can know the sentiment of the market. Why we are emphasizing on the FIIs is like people like you and me, retailers like you and me cannot take the market down and up. We can participate, but we cannot take the market up and down because we do not have the big money power. But whereas if you take the FIS, right, we all know they have the power of taking the market up and down. It can be, I mean, uh, I mean index, it's very difficult, but still uh, the, the, the contribution of the FIS is huge because they play in huge crores and crores of rupees. But when it comes to penny stocks, some uh, uh, FNS stocks, right, but definitely FI can play their role because moving the index up and down is very difficult, but still they have upper hand. But when it comes to stock and then SGX Nifty, basically SGX Nifty, we basically use the SGX Nifty just to see whether uh, it's a gap up or gap down. Majority of the times, the data suggests uh, before the market starts. So this is basically the data driven, right? Open interest in FIS. This can be done manual, right? Now you have to go to each and every stock and see whether what is happening, right? If, whether it is bullish, bearish, you have to do it manually or else you can take the advantage of the tool. So guys, this video is all about one of the tool what I'm going to discuss with you, right, which will help you, which will uh, I mean, uh, ensure that your trading becomes very easy. So please stay tuned, right? Do not skip the video. Watch in a sequence, right? This one hour would be one of the turning point for you guys. All right. Let me take you back to this slide. So now stock selection can be based on the price action, technical analysis. Now price action is ocean in itself. Right? There is no standard definition of price action. Some use MACD, some use CPR, all the lagging indicators, some use uh, support and resistance, horizontal support and resistance. Someone combine it with the dynamic trend line, someone use a flag pattern, right? It's up to you guys. It's up to you. You should have your own price action, the technical analysis. Okay. And the other way is like random guess, which anyways the gamblers will do. We will not emphasize more on this random and then data driven what we have discussed. And in line to this, what we do is like, I mean, even I basically, I do some sort of fundamental analysis before I enter into swing trading or it could be like short term, it could be a, not intraday, basically swing trading, right? The fundamental analysis, what I do is like, I'll not do, I'm not an investor, basically, I'm a swing trader. Okay, so the fundamental analysis, what I do is based on only few parameters, like what is the market cap? What, 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 the, what depth the companies has, the liabilities, right? Does the company has any major liabilities, right? What is the promoter holding? How much of uh, shares the promoters are holding? I mean, what percentage of shares have been pledged by the promoter? The, the normal like uh, return on equity, return on capital deployed, sales growth and profit growth, okay? Let me show you what I meant to say. So use this 
tool called phenology right that's it right i'm just showing you an example of asian paint that's it right market check the market cap this is huge company right 267000 crores company in which they have only 16000 debt check this right uh, read yourself right this is a sum of all the short term and long term debts which is like uh, negligible right and then i do not see all this like pb ratio pe ratio because i'm not a long term investor right definitely the sales growth the profit growth and then uh, the debt what did i say market cap and if i scroll down right i'll be like just uh, looking at this parameters like what is the sales growth profit growth let me refresh this page there is some issue basically that should that fit that should show you the graph okay yeah basically this parameters i'll see before i enter into stock and also the promoter right so 52 percent of the shares are with the promoters and then rest with the public and all those i mean you you can just see it right and then the limitations and the strengths so what i meant to say is like i do just the basic level of fundamental analysis before i enter into swing trading okay let me take you back to the presentation got it guys price action random guess data driven fundamental analysis so what if if i say what if if we can combine this one two and three guys so our price our stock selection process should be based on this three your price action so-called technical analysis your data driven combine this with your data driven and then combine this with your fundamental analysis so at least guys if we do this activity the probability will be high there is no certainty in the market i cannot guarantee you uh, saying that if i do this thing 100 percent accuracy will be there but at least probability will be fine you will be able to know okay what is the entry what is the exit should i enter now should i hold when I mean, what is it i mean i'll explain you each and everything guys guys please do not skip the video this one hour is going to change your thought process all right so let me delete this okay let me take you to the next slide okay so uh, what is data driven basically taking the help of open interest your option chain what are fis doing what are dis doing sgx nifty you can do it manually or you can do it with the tool so now let me introduce you that tool guys let me introduce you that tool the tool i think you guys know that so there is a one tool called quantsap okay see i'm not trying to promote the tool definitely i am partnered with that tool so what i'll be doing is like i'm going to start this series of videos on the quantsap so that it is not something like I'll show you theoretically. I'll show you by using the concept in my real trade so that your eyes will get trained so that you'll have the trust factor. Yes, this works or not. Okay. This is one of the tool guys called concept. This has too many features, but today we are going to discuss about one feature. This has like 30 to 40 features, features basically. So we are going to discuss about one thing, which is called your belt up. Okay. Just stay tuned. Don't get confused. I'll try to explain you everything. Okay. Let me take you to the cycle okay basically if you look at this thing these are all the fn stock guys if you see on the left hand side you have all the stock names and then on the right hand side you have something in the form of green blue red right all these colors and this is a cycle of the stock yes this is the life cycle of that particular stock so since from march 1st till date 29th what is rt industry doing i mean this is the, this is the uh, underlying instrument right what is it doing right you can just see from since from march 1st till 29th right this are the important parameters guys these are the important parameters one second this fourth thing right let's talk about all these four parameters right there is something called long green color there is something called long unwinding there is something called short and there is something called short covering guys if you understand this logic if you have the knowledge of what exactly we mean by long what exactly we mean by long unwinding what exactly we mean by short and what exactly we mean by short covering your your job is done and rest of the thing is like you have to just combine this data driven with your price action so let me explain you okay what i'll try to do uh, let me delete this thing right i'll just try to go to symbol <coughs> okay <coughs> now you see this long okay let's let's define the definition of long so what is long basically we have to think this from the futures perspective not from the options so when i say long right price see price is green price is going up all right check this symbol price is going up at the same time open interest is also going up so what does this signify simple guys price is going up and the participants are 
very much interested in this trade see forget about nifty okay guys forget about nifty i'll come back to nifty later let's discuss about uh, the other stocks yeah even this can be applied for nifty also but this will work too good in the uh, swing trading okay so let's take an example let's take an example let me delete let's take an example of this one uh, acc okay so price is green all right guys price is going up one second price is going up at the same time the open interest is also going up so what does this signifies basically price is going up and also the participants the market participants the are, are also showing interest in this particular trade saying that the trade the stock might go up right it, it signifies right this is the data price is going up and also the open interest the market participants like this can be retailers like you and me this can be fis there can be dis i mean so called operators so called big fellows right so this is this is called long okay price is going up the open interest among the participants is also going up let me take you to short short would be guys short would be opposite of long simple right let me delete this now what is happening with the short let's take about the bata bata is going down price is going down and the open interest is going up meaning the market participants like retailers fis what they think is like yes the bata might go down that's the reason price is going down so the participants open interest is also increasing so meaning they are bearish about this stock simple long is they are bullish about this stock short is they are bearish about this stock based on these two parameters because price is falling and open interest is increasing right now what is long unwinding simple now this is very simple long unwinding right opposite of your long let's say let's say you went long in one of this stock worldful but today the price is going down right the price is going down so when you went long into whirlpool like one day before two day before right you expect the price to go up ideally right technically but now based on the market condition based on the market sentiment the price is coming down here price is falling down so what will happen your open interest will also fall because whoever went long they will be doing the what they will be doing the long unwinding either they will do the profit booking or else let's say someone entered today uh, or long and the market is coming down so they will be like uh, doing their uh, what do we say they will be like booking their losses so moreover it is something like profit booking or else it could be like people exiting their trade so what that that will result in basically decrease decline in the open interest got it guys so this is very self explanatory but still i'm explaining you and then what is short covering right needless to say needless to say short covering is like ideally the price should come down but the price is going up here because what is short short is something like i'm bearish about that stock but now the price is not coming down the price is going up so what happens basically so then there is a short covering so whoever has shorted this trade this uh, stock they are not showing interest they are squaring off their position see even if someone shorted this stock like 3 days 4 days back they might be doing the short covering they might be booking the their profit or else the people who went like short today morning the moment the market is going up they will be exiting the trade so basically that will result in decline in the open interest so guys we have discussed about all this four thing this is very very important what is long long unwinding what is short short unwinding again let me tell you long is if at all you are bullish about that particular stock the price will go up along with that the open interest will also ideally go up long unwinding is price is coming down along with that your open interest is also coming down because whoever went long they are squaring off their position it could be profit booking it could be booking their losses it is subjective short whoever feels that this particular stock will go down they will do the shorting price will come down along with that the open interest will increase because the participant should have that conviction about the trade going down what is the opposite of short covering right price is going up the open interest is also reducing because they expect the stock to come down but the price is going up so obviously the open interest will also decline got it now let me go back to the cycle guys okay so now what i'll do guys stay with me stay with me guys you're going to learn something new okay let me take you to this presentation one more time so what did we discuss 
Okay, okay, so tool and then yeah guys, this is very important. You have to see pause the video, pause the video, whatever we have discussed, whatever we have discussed, everything is in this slide. Pause the video and you have to read yourself. Okay, this is from the options perspective. This is from the cash and future perspective, right? This is what we have discussed. What is long? Open interest going up, price is also going up. Simple. What is short built up? What is short built up actually? Open interest is increased, is going up price is coming down this is short built up opposite of long built up price is coming down the open interest sorry open interest is coming down along with that the price is coming down short covering opposite of short built up open interest obviously declines and price will is going up this is from the options perspective we call them as call writing call unwinding put writing put unwinding in in terms of options but in terms of cash and futures we call them as long built up short built up long unwinding and short covering all right this is very important for you to understand <clears throat> okay now what is this life cycle of the underlying instrument right this is where this tool is going to help you guys this is where i would say this tool is going to help you in terms of knowing this cycle of the underlying asset now let's explore this tool how this tool is going to help you right we all know guys we all know nifty is in the downtrend since from almost like december 1st right since from december nifty is continuously downtrend we all know if you want to see this has almost fell like 10 percent right now will you search for bullish stocks when the nifty is coming drastically downside or will you search for shorting opportunity option is yours right guys option is yours when the nifty is falling whether you are looking out for bullish stocks or bearish stocks option is here but i'll 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 explain both the things now this is one of the cycle you got it right this is the entire life cycle of this all this particular stock okay now <clears throat> if you look at this thing there is a look back period so this is for the 20 days this is one month data okay 20 working days ideally we have 20 working days in a month okay 20 working days but i know nifty is falling but i want to see Oh, what, what are the stocks which basically are still bullish? I mean to say there are no aggressive sellers in that particular stock. You got my point, right? See, if I want to go for the short, I'll select the short and I'll give the period as 14. Let's say 14 days. So out of last 20 days, what are the stocks which are having more of short built up getting built up right more of short getting built up right in the last 14 days if i click on this apply now you do not have anything guys you do not have anything okay let me select this to uh, let's say eight days i'm just trying to explore the tool okay now you have this many stocks check the red colors red color is short built up you see more of greens or reds <coughs> obviously you see more of red let me make it to five days this is how you have to play with the tool tool will help you with a fraction of second to get all this now you you scroll right you you will have the filtered stocks okay let me uh, go for like uh, uh, 10 days okay just i'm showing all the demo right within this so these are all the stocks so now you have to see check this check this stock rbl bank since from 8th march continuously for the 10 days it went down right will this not help you in terms of selecting the stock i'll show you everything just i'm starting with the basics i'll tell you how to Correlate your price action with the stock guys. Believe me, this is going to be like very interesting. Definitely, this is going to extend for more than one hour, but it's up to you guys. Whoever is watching till now, I think you are quite interested, but the others would have uh, exited the video. Okay. Now what I'll do, forget about short. In the in the falling market, I wanted to see the stocks which are still, I would not say bullish, but which are basically, there are like, I mean, for those particular stocks, there are no sellers. Okay. Now what I'll do, I'll go for long and long unwinding. That's it. I want to see the cycle where longs are getting built up. This one along with that long unwinding. So what is this? Long, long unwinding is still the stock is bullish guys. People are going long. They are booking their profit. So that is called long unwinding. Again, people will go long. They will book the profit, right? So now what I'll do long and long unwinding. Let me select 14 days, right? You can select 14, 12, 10 up to you. I'm just selecting 14 days. In last 20 days, what are the stocks? Since from last 14 days, there are basically this activity getting uh, uh, done, which is like long and more of long and long unwinding. We all know market is falling, but still I wanted to see what are those stocks. Okay, now if I click on this, 
apply <coughs> yes we got only these stocks that's it even if i scroll we got these stocks so now check the do you see more of reds or more of green or combination of red and this blue right definitely like market has fall like 10% but still this are the stock basically where the sellers are not aggressive maybe pfc yes i accept there were like sellers continuously for four days but just check the other stocks guys just check the other stock check itc check uh, let me show you yeah, check this stock siemens do we see any selling seller was only on the march 2nd since from then it is either short covering check this color or else long built up long built up or else long unwinding short covering long unwinding long 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 unwinding long 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 and so don't you think this will help you in terms of selecting the best potential stock we have not decided we have not discussed how to select this stock we are starting with basic i'm just trying to show you the tool feature and this is all real time based within a fraction of second you'll be getting so let me say let me select 16 days right let me say 16 out of 20 16 days let's say right there are like two stocks guys now don't you think right in the falling market also this particular stock is not showing any uh, sellers basically so can i go long into this trade is the biggest question in the falling market also i'm just telling you right it is not the ideal case when the market is falling we have to look out for the short opportunities but but all the smart traders right in case if you want to build your swing trading side right, this is the right time right we cannot we cannot identify the bottoms of the market we doesn't know whether the nifty will again make a bottom or that will rise from so there is something called fomo right fear of missing out if you have that concerns you can do so let's see these two stocks okay what i'll do i'll just go to about india let me show you or anything right uh, let me about uh, india all right guys so now see already have done the price action so this is what happening in about india if you look at this thing so since from march first there were long 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 and then there were long unwinding long long and then long. just check so only on 22nd there were sellers so let's see what happened on 22nd guys 22nd what was that 22nd march right about india 22nd uh, what was that yeah 21st march okay let's see what happened on 21st march. let me zoom this where is the 21st march okay this is what guys so 21st march the market fell and check after 21st march after 21st march there were continuously longs or long unwinding getting built up right so now guys now you have to stay focused so basically if i combine my price action so let's say 21st march right let's say 21st means 21st march yeah let's say the stock came down came down came down now all of a sudden i know this is my strong support line see i'm using the price action guys right so this is my strong support so i know my 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 price action will say yes the market came down and there is a strong support here because the same thing acted as a strong support in the recent so i'm expecting maybe this stock would go up or maybe it could it could retrace or it could there could be a reversal see that's what i'll explain to you that's what what happened right my price action says there is a strong trend line here so maybe the stock might go up right and then i'll just see okay if my alert get triggered saying that about india is at a very critical support line and the the stock might go up so now i can go long but if at all i want to combine it with the data driven approach if at all i want to get double confirmation so what i'll try to do i'll just go to this thing right on 21st there was selling but 22nd let's say i am on 22nd march there was a green so longs are getting built up so what does that signifies guys what does that signifies yes my price action is giving me let me uh, scroll this thing right why the reason i'm telling uh, this is strong support is like whenever it took the support it went up took the support it went up took the support it went up so now even it took the support so there are like three one two three four time it is taking the support so i would say okay stock has a potential to go up i said stock might go up not mandatory that it will go up but this is my price action but if i combine it with the data driven so even there are like getting longs getting built up so my my confirmation it will be like sort of double confirmation okay even the data suggests that there are like too much of long getting built up okay so then i'll enter into this stock that's it guys then 
I'll enter into this stock and then and then take the rally. Now I'll show you some example, right? I'll show you some example. See, this is ocean. We can discuss now. I'll show you some example. Let's say someone entered here. Let's say someone entered here, right? Stock went up, guys. Stock went up. Stock went up. The moment you see this green color uh, candle, right? You will exit your trade saying that the sellers says sellers have entered, right? So far the stock was bullish. The moment you see this red candle, you'll think, okay, sellers have come into this uh, trade. So now better to exit the trade. But what happened, right? One day it was selling and again the stock went up. Again, there was one selling again, again the stock went up. So you would have missed out this rally. Got it? And now it will go up. It will retrace. It might go up. It might retrace. So you have to check what is happening during this retracement this is the reversal okay let me take you back to my one of my slide guys this is going to be like very interesting right i'll do my best right this is very very important you have to know what is reversal what is breakdown what is breakout you have to know the difference between reversal breakout breakdown you should know is it a retracement or is it a consolidation or is it a pullback or else you fill it unless and until you know this minute things this is where I mean trading is going to be like very active let me show you one example let's say you went long stock went up right all of a sudden the stock is retracing you went long here guys you went long here stock went like five percent let's say stock went five percent all of a sudden the stock has retraced now during this retracement you have to check whether this is a reversal where is it is it a reversal or is it just a retracement or is this a consolidation right unless and until you know so how will you know if there are like sellers here if there are like many sellers here at least you can say that okay it might be a sort of reversal because sellers are there let's take an example right if if there is long unwinding happening here not sellers are not that long unwinding so people who went long here obviously right they will be booking their profit the moment they book the profit what will happen right they'll they will they will buy here all right and they will sell here basically so when there is selling market has to come down or else the underlying asset has to come down this is called retracement so you have to check whether there are sellers or is it long unwinding simple guys this two things that's what i've spent like so much of time in terms of letting you know what is short so if there is a short you have to be like very careful okay okay shorters are here so maybe it could be a reversal if there is long unwinding so it could be just a retracement yeah stock again what will happen this the profit booking will happen again the stock will go up simple guys again there are like buyers here right longs longs are getting let's say again at this position the market is coming down so again you have to do the same activity are there short shots are getting built up or there are like long unwinding getting built up or short coverings are getting built up so what is short covering is like there will be few few uh what do we say uh, gamblers right whenever the market goes up rather than going buying here what they will do is like they will enter at the resistance so they will buy here basically they will buy here okay and then all of a sudden when the market retrace when the market is coming down they will start selling so basically you got the point right guys if you're not able to understand please watch the video one times two times three times you are learning something very new okay this is how you have to do the stock selections based on your price action and based on the uh, data driven uh, approach using the tool called Quantsup because Quantsup will help you right don't you think this will help you this is giving you almost all see if you if you think right let's take an example of this trade right let's take an example of about India okay let me tell you right let me let us come from March 1st okay there was long right there was a long right retracement what is this retracement? to call unwinding long unwinding again there was a long okay there was a short covering basically short covering guys people who might have sold who might have sold before march 1st so they are they got trapped basically right they thought stock would go down but stock is going up so they are unwinding they are covering their short position right so what what will happen here either the stock will go up or else the stock will consolidate again there is long see one more long again one more long right and there are like two long unwinding basically market will come down 
right retracement these are the retracement because stock cannot go straight up right it will go up retracement up retracement up retracement this is where you have to see are there any sellers any sellers if you feel there are like any sellers so then definitely this would be a very strong resistance so let's say this is a support and this is a resistance this tool will help you okay boss from here it might reverse because there is a strong resistance and there are like too many short getting built up you got it right so now uh, let's take an example right and then there was a short covering right the stock will go up then three days continuously three days short right long day one day two day three and then all of a sudden there was short covering right short covering and then there was a selling basically but you have to see whether this selling happened at a strong resistance or it happened before the resistance right you have you, you can you have to be like very you have to monitor and then the next day again it was long 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 you got it right so now guys this is what so you should not you should not exit the moment you see the red candles though there are like sellers this could be sellers you should not exit if you exit you will miss out this rally all these five days off so what i meant to say is like I'll show you like how to do the price action. I'll show you all my live trades also. How I made almost profit using this tool. You got it right. So I've, I think I've given you more than uh, enough examples right by by discussing more. Okay. Now what I'll do, guys. Now what I'll do. So yeah. Again, let me get you back to this uh, slide. So guys, you have to know basically these things. I mean, this is very important. Without this, unless and until you know river, what is reversal, what is breakout and breakdown, what is retracement, what is consolidation, what is pullback, you will be not able to sustain in the market. And this, this, right, this, all these things can be can be achieved by using your price action in terms of candlestick patterns, or else you can use your data-driven approach by using some concept tool or any other tool. Now, see, guys, you all know, right? It's Trading is all about support and resistance. Trading is all about demand and supply zones. So that's it. If you have other thought process, you are doing messing up yours. I mean yourself, right? That's it. Trading is all about support and resistance. Now you might be wondering, what are all these junk lines? See, guys, I'll try to explain you. This, uh, this is my price action, right? If you look at the patterns, this is called your parallel pattern. This is your rising wedge. This is your falling wedge. This is your symmetrical triangle. This is sort of ascending, descending. I don't know. These are the opposite, right? Now, what is parallel channel? It is making equal lows and equal highs. Here it is making higher lows and higher highs. Higher low, higher highs. I'll, I'll, I'll explain. Here it is making lower highs, right? This is like downtrend stock. This is making a symmetrical triangle, right? I mean, equal amount of pressure from sellers and buyers. This is a sort of, I don't know what is this, I mean, just understand the psychology of the pattern, right? So buyers are more aggressive, sellers are more, what do we say? I mean, they, 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 they are not aggressive basically. Whenever it is coming at the supply zone, they are selling. But buyers are very aggressive. Before it comes to their support, they are selling. This is the reverse of this thing. Buyers are very calm. They are selling at the support level, but sellers are selling at are very aggressive. So now let me explain you why I have plotted this diagram is like, guys, this will help you basically this will help you in your trading so what happens is like you have to think about two things guys you have to think about two things what is that support and resistance so let me draw right be with me guys let me draw this right i'll draw like this right price went up price came down price went up price came down okay the same thing right you have to you have to have patience guys i mean don't skip the video you're going to learn something new right same thing price went up came down made a lower i came down again made a lower i came down this is a downtrend this is a uptrend this is a sideways market and this is triangle right equal amount of pressure from buyer seller buyer seller buyer seller buyer seller buyer seller right this is we, we all discussed right uh, sellers are only selling at demand zone at the supply but buyers are selling even before the stock comes here they're selling it from here so there is a pressure from uh, buyer sellers are not active they are just selling at the supply but buyer are very aggressive right you got it right i have a context guys that's the reason i'm just spending more time same thing right sellers are very aggressive here buyers are very calm sellers are very aggressive they're selling even before the price comes here they're selling it here buyers are just buying only at the support level that's it now this is app this is a sort of spin now why did i draw all this diagram is guys you have to combine your price action with the data driven approach how can you do that whenever the stock is at this support your price action will say that okay 
this stock has it the potential to go up because whenever it took the support support it went up it took the support it went up so even this will now you have to see right your price action is telling that this stock might go up now we have to go and check in the quants app whether you see buying here right or you see selling here simple guys if you see buying here if you see a uh, longs are getting built up so that is double confirmation saying that your price action is giving you the signal and also the data driven tool like whatsapp is also saying that there are like more of buyers so this is what you will get double confirmation then you can just go with double confirmation long and you put your stop loss and everything okay and let's say let's say let's say take this other example right now this has break out okay let me draw this thing now this has break uh, this is your resistance right ideally whenever it took the resistance it came down took the resistance it came down took the resistance it came down finally this has given a break out of the resistance and let's say if retest right every good breakout trade has to retest and now check here whether shorts are getting built up or longs are getting built up if you see longs are getting built up with a good price going up with a good volume with a good uh, what do we say open interest then what you can see is like you can just enter into long here because this is a breakout trade you have entered long at support the second scenario if this has given a breakout right if it comes and retest and if it is if there are like more of long getting built up go long long here if there are like shorts getting built up old wait the second example already you went long here right so you are you are you are carry forward this trade let's say if there is a more of shorts getting built up you exit this trade but if there are no shorts getting built up if there are not sellers why should you exit your trade keep keep holding the trade and see okay there is a break out again the market came down you have to see the concept tool what is happening with the life cycle of that instrument shorts are getting built up or longs are getting built up if the, all of a sudden if you see they again there is a long getting so ideally this will be long unwinding right it went up it went up and long unwinding is people who went long like 50% of the people will be uh, uh, booking their profit but long unwinding is not the indication of stock coming down unless and until you see some sellers here right it will come there again if you see longs are getting built up you carry forward that trade you hold this trade you take the rally of this trade if the shorts are getting built up exit your trade even the buyers who went here exit the trade guys i think i'm talking since i'm last 30 40 minutes hope you are able to digest it same thing right this is your rising wedge right check what is happening like, let's say what is happening here either it is like long getting built up or short getting built up and the moment it gave a break out and if it is going up check whether shorts are getting built up or longs are getting built up you got it right same thing in the downtrend stock you'll be looking out for shorting opportunities check here whether there are like longs or shorts if there is short definitely the stock will might come down and check here what is happening whether the shorts are getting built up or longs are getting built if the long is getting built up at least you have a sort of pullback this is called pullback guys this is called pullback the trend is down but if you see more of long getting built up this is a pullback this is not the reversal okay what is reversal basically what is reversal basically is yeah the stock came down and you see a bullish and then the, if the stock keeps on going this is a reversal right from the from the downtrend it is going upside so this is how you have to do right and this is this is a sort of symmetrical triangle right shorters are av uh, 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 buyers are aggressive shorters are aggressive buyers are aggressive shorters are aggressive buyers are aggressive now you have to see whether it is a breakdown if it is a breakdown what is happening here longs are getting built up or shorts are getting built up based on that you can take the double confirmation if it is giving a break out what is happening here longs are getting built up or shorts are getting built up based on this cycle you have to but definitely you have to combine it with the price action we are not doing random guess here we are not trying to do it as a gambler mindset we are combining the price action with what with the data driven approach uh, certain tools like quantsup you can do it manually guys you can do it manually i'm not telling you to just do it quantsup but quantsup will give you within a fraction of second i mean how much time it will take simple right go select give the date give the last six days how many stocks are making long short and everything that's it you have the data ready you you combine that uh, data driven approach with your price action simple right buyers are aggressive buyers are aggressive check 
whether longs are getting built up here yes go if shorts are getting built up here market will come down if it has given a breakout retest if longs are getting built up obviously the stock will go up. that's it right it is all about that's the reason i said it's all about support and resistance that's it demand and supply zone that's it if you are able to get this support demand zone right no one can stop you forget about all those so called indicators forget about all those gurus who make you very complicated by using lagging indicators by using that these I mean, right? This is what, guys. Use the price action, right? Your patterns, right? What is this? This is the sort of what is this basically, right? This is a bullish trend. This is a bearish trend. This is sort of like, right? The the sellers are used, right? So maybe potentially, it's like it can break down because shorts are very aggressive. Here, the buyers are very aggressive, so there is a high potential that stock might go. I said high potential. high probability this is equal amount so this can this can give a huge break out or this can give a huge breakdown so you have to combine your data driven approach all about what all about again let me take you let me delete this thing that's it you have to just combine this thing with your price action two things guys two things first you can what you can do is like first go to this tool identify the stocks and then do the price action point number 1 right first go to quantsap tool right identify the stocks okay and identify the potential stocks by putting your criteria 20 days 16 days and then go to price action price action and check what is this about doing even if your price action is also suggesting you that your stock is at a critical support level let's say this right it added it is making this momentum right it is going up then go long because this is telling bull longs are getting built up even your price action is telling right uh, there is a strong support there is a reversal candle there is a amaret candle i mean all those things will come into picture take the rally or else you can do the other way let's say your price action let's say your price action is telling that this stock will go up right and then what what you have to do is like come let's say this is like tcs let's say this is tcs you come here let me reset let me reset you come here let's say you go to tcs search for tcs that's it yeah your price action is telling stock will go up and if you look at this the data is also saying that there are like long getting uh, see now all of a sudden this has become uh, uh, long and bearish so this is almost at its break even so this is how you have to take the call price action selling bullish your this thing also selling either wait until you see a concrete uh, candle or else you can just enter by putting the meaningful stop loss all right guys so now let me see whether i have covered all this slide okay now what i'll try to do i mean there are like few more things which are pending guys okay now very said yeah we have discussed right guys we have discussed everything about this thing now let me take you to this thing this is very important right this is very important guys read this trade read this not trade read this presentation right index sector this is a sector index guys okay let's say the nifty is going up or else the nifty based on your price action nifty is at a very critical support level it is it is going up and then the particular sector let's say the it sector is also at a very critical support it can it it might go up then you might be having some underlying stock some good blue chip underlying stock what you have to do is like nifty is going up sectors also looks bullish so you have to just select the underlying stocks let's say your tcs is also at a very critical support level or it has given the breakout level based on that you have to enter you have to you can go long in the cash or you can go long in the uh, future and this is what i said that this is a data right i have made this video long back guys i'm just taking the screenshot i think this video this screenshot i have made almost like one year back right this is the data right what are fis doing what are di is doing you can you can you can go for the option chain but don't go on the news yeah results to some extent this will help you and also the events all right now based on this combination you go long in cash or future uh, this is for the options also you read it yourself nifty coming down but the sector is going up and just check any underlying asset within that sector which is also going up so you at least you can go in long you can take the chance but nifty going up sector is coming down within the sector the stocks are also coming down then you can go for the shorting opportunity are given right intraday because we cannot go short uh, with the positional right you have to have to go for intraday if at all you want to go for the uh, positional you have to go for the future and this is deadly combination Nif nifty coming down particular sector is also coming down and within that sector the potential stocks are also giving you breakdown or also which has given the breakdown just go for shorting opportunity this is very important guys so now this is what i call combining the price action 
with the data driven approach by using the tool like Quantsup and then combining it with the multi sector analysis nifty index sector underlying even bank nifty right if bank nifty is going up right and then uh, we do not have any sector basically right a bank nifty and then within the bank nifty any potential banking stock which is at a very critical support or at a critical breakout level go long and take the help of the Quantsup check on that particular day when it is giving the breakout whether the longs are getting built up or the shorts are getting built up based on that you will get to know about this thing whether it is a reversal breakout or breakdown or it is a retracement or is it a consolidation or it is a pullback if you get to know this no one can stop you guys i have spent enough time i'm not sure still if someone is watching this video guys you are going to enjoy the trade, you are going to save your capital, you are going to make decent profit. I would not say rocket sense profit, but you will be like able to enjoy the trading. Okay, let me see what other slides I have. Yeah, now what I'll try to dislike, there are other features like in the concept like synopsis, order book, trap indicator and wall trade. So simple guys, what I'm trying to do is like, I'll make more videos. See, what did we do? We, we were like, uh, combining the price action plus the the built up tool what we have discussed right this is the built up tool maybe going forward what i'll do i'll make more trades wherein we will be combining again this with your synopsis one of the feature in the concept plus your order book plus trap indicator plus wall trader i mean if you feel this will take too much of time for me to uh, analyze no within one or two minutes you can do the entire uh, what do we say analysis so stay tuned or else if you want to uh, if you want me to make this more videos like just comment in the comment section saying that yes i need so just imagine guys price action plus built up tool plus all these four features combined together so you will be getting a very high probability trade nothing is certain in market but you'll be getting a very high probable trade okay now let me show you one live trade what i've shared with my uh, students okay let me delete see what i've done is like right? see i have uh, see now let me show you let me take you to this thing so this was yesterday guys this was yesterday if you look at the date this was yesterday 8 41 all right so i said excite based on my price action excite is at a very strong support let me zoom this okay Excite is at a very strong support, taking the support of my 200 moving average, my white color trend line, dynamic trend line. Sorry, guys. And one second, where am I? Yeah, right. So I said this stock has potential to go up. And then what I've done is like, what I've done is like, okay, this is my price action. So then I went to this concept tool. Okay, I went to this concept tool and let's say Excite India. Okay, Excite. Right. So now, yesterday see now yesterday there was there were like call unwinding happened so whoever went like see shorters were there let me show you the uh, excite india one second right right I, i'm just showing you with my live practical example simple guys right now this is what happened right they were like shorter short now you have to see these are all long builds up okay now the trade is coming down there might be a short you have to identify now is this the short getting built up or this is a short covering this is definitely going to be a short like let's check like march 13th what is march 13th where is march 13th yeah see check this guys march 13th there was actually long unwinding there was actually long unwinding but it made such a huge so sorry not sorry this is march 24 right yeah sorry march 24 let me check March 24. I mean, am I doing it right way? I get confused, right? This is, let me say this one, right? This is 13th March. My bad, okay? 13th March. Okay, 13th March, there was a long unwinding. So now you have to correlate, guys. You have to correlate. What is this candle? What is this candle? Red means we thought maybe March 13th, we thought there were like sellers here, but basically there were like more of uh, March 13th, right? Let me again show you. Right? There were not sellers basically, there were actually long unwinding, people who went long here, people who went long here, maybe people who went long before first, they started booking their profit. That's the reason the stock came down. But looking at this candle, by looking not at this data, we will think that guys, there are like too many shorters will exit. 
right but basically there were like long unwinding so now why did i took this stock is right looking at this vix guys that's it right there is see this is my price action let me show you one price action then i'll zoom right white color trend line this is taking the support of my white color trend line so point number 1 right i'll use this to right 200 moving average and i'll use 400 moving the only the two indicators now this is taking the support of 200 and 2 uh, 400 moving average i thought okay this has a potential to go up and then finally what i've done is like yesterday i went so there will like long unwinding getting built up and today i made almost like 1% profit that's what i said in my this thing check at this thing so today morning i said i almost see check this 5% with overnight e margin guys and the other thing is like i've entered into this trade and check this i made almost like 1350 but what i have deployed is and i've deployed just 25000 the remaining 75000 i've taken it from the m stock that's a reason i've mentioned here saying 5% profit with overnight e margin swing trade ideally i got 1% right the tool clearly shows you right the tool clearly shows there is a 1% price hike 1.13% and 7% open interest is also getting generated meaning people are becoming a sort of bullish say i would not say super bullish but at least bullish this is how i have done so i might have done so now let me show you my let me take you to the uh, this thing uh, let me take you to the playlist so what uh, what i have done is guys right i have created a uh, this thing right i have just created this playlist of concept okay so all the videos i'll be deploying here so a i made 8% in one hour with swing trading using the data driven approach go and watch this trade i made 8% guys again let me repeat i made 8% in one hour with swing trading with data driven approach that's what right 8% let me show you the same logic and the right the same concept let me show you the video right the same concept tool see the same concept tool what i have used and i made almost like 8% within one hour combined with my price action maybe definitely i might have see this is a price action okay hdfc bank which was giving me a support on my trend line i thought this might go up and then i've combined the same thing just to check what is happening with the hdfc and what happened with the hdfc there were like longs getting built up let me show you right there were like longs getting built up i thought this is a this is a good trade for me to enter and then i've entered i made almost like 8% within one hour right go and watch this video 21 minutes video wherein i've explained you everything the same thing whatever we have discussed right whatever we have discussed i've just explained you so that is right if you look at this 1x is equal to 4x because i use margin basically right if market goes 1% upside i'll get 4% profit if market goes 2% upside i'll get 8% profit but definitely i'm not recommending you to go for the e margin unless and until you know how to do the price action you know how to combine it with the data driven approach see what is data driven approach basically end of the day it's it's open interest so now let me show you i'll update here guys i'll update here uh, one thing right which i have not added here is like simple right this is very important there is something called open interest right i mean open interest even i'll combine this thing we will be using the tool called now let me show you the tool right let me show you the tool let me get you to the home page what happened these are all this is architect op option chain you have iv what did i say right order book i'll make a video on this wall trade this is one of the great feature this tool is providing okay and trade recap i'll explain you and one second guys and i'll explain you the build up one more time there are one feature or else i'll make a separate video what happens with the build up is okay so now if at all you want to check the sector wise right let's say you want to see the sector wise you can just select auto that's it that will give you all the life cycle of the auto sector fraction of second don't you think banking stock it will give you all the banking stocks right if you want to see uh, fmgc stock it will give you all the fmgc stock now you go ahead and put right whether you want long long unwinding long unwinding only long only just check long right and you make it as 5 click on the apply that's it that will give you all the stock so you can get all the data with a fraction of second and the other thing is like you can search individual symbols also okay what is happening and also there is something called future oi oh which basically gives you in the form of graphical representation right if you want to see the absolute oi so you have to explore the tool guys so there are like too many features right open interest you can see the open interest you can see absolute oi you can see the normal oi you can see the entire life cycle okay and what is this right you you can see this this meaning if at all you want to go for last 40 days you can just go for last 40 days also just click on uh, what is this apply 
this will show you all 40 days data right based on your trading style if you want to see only for last five days just click on apply this will show what is happening in the last five days so this all happens with a fraction of second right this tool is going to definitely help you so how this tool is giving you all the data based on the data met data points like your open interest like your i mean basically your option chain right or based on all those data this tool is giving you all this data so this is this is this is what we call guys this is what we call what did i say one second right how to the best potential way of doing the stock selection by price action combined with the data driven approach so guys i'll just put a full stop here so anyways i'm planning to do more of series on the quants up with my real trades right so that your eyes will get trained you will start believing right there is nothing called certainty everything is uncertain but within that uncertainty we have to find the high probable certain trades okay so whatever i have promised i have delivered if you like the video guys just give it a thumbs up share with your friends share with all the fellow traders right so that even they should get to know how to do the proper trading if you are doing the same traditional way you'll be not able to sustain if you're doing it with backed up by the real data this is called the data driven approach guys please subscribe my channel and also if you want me to make videos on all these other features what is that all these other features like uh, this one like how we can combine it with open interest synopsis order book trap this are all on the real data guys just comment i'll get that video done for you all right guys thank you guys thank you for watching my video the first step towards achieving your dreams is having the right coach get the best education with hybrid trader and make your options strategies and swing trading dreams come true download the app now